Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn a little bit about music theory right from the beginning. And the topic for today is the rhythm tree. Now, like most trees, you start from the beginning and you branch out, right? So we're going to go ahead and talk about rhythm. Now, what exactly is rhythm? Rhythm is a sense of musical duration. Okay, so well, duration is a big word. What does that mean? Well, it's how long notes are, either short notes, long notes, what kind of pulse do they get? So let's start a little more basic and talk about a pulse. So consider your heartbeat. We have a pulse. One, two, three, four, right? So a very simple pulse. We're gonna, this is part of our rhythm tree, but we're gonna consider these our pulses. And we're gonna diagram these pulses like this. Now these have a name, but the most important thing right now is I want you to recognize these as your pulse or your heartbeat, okay? These are actually called quarter notes. Quarter notes, and you notice we grouped them in four. Quarter, just like a dollar, okay? You have a dollar, you have four, of these bad boys and a dollar, okay? But instead of calling it a dollar, we're gonna say, we're gonna just create a segment right here. And we're gonna make this one line to this line, one grouping, or what we call a measure or a bar. So let's recap. We have our pulse. We are call calling these quarter notes. Okay, now just like we related it to money, there are four quarters and a dollar. Well, we also know that there are bigger versions of this and we're gonna kind of go in reverse here. So we have four quarter notes. Now say you combined two quarters and we gave each one of these quarter notes a beat, but now we're gonna combine them, okay? And we're kind of going in reverse right now and you'll see why in a moment, okay? So these are like having two quarters put together. Two quarters plus two quarters. And it still equals out to be the same as a whole or a dollar, right? So if we had two quarters here, two quarters here, we actually call these guys half notes. Kind of like a half dollar, right? Half notes. And these are pulses. So we're gonna relate these to pulses, kind of like your heartbeat. So this is one, two, three, four. Well, you'd count this as one, two, three, four. They still, both of these situations are during the same amount of time, but we write them out a little differently and we create a, a point of attack a little differently. Okay, and so again, like I said, we're kind of going in reverse right now. But now say we just wanna have one big note, the full length of four counts, okay? And that's what we call a whole note. Okay, it looks like an open hold circle. Hold note, and it gets four counts. One, two, three, four, okay? So all of these take the span of this, what we're calling a measure, Okay, four pulses or four beats worth of time, but they're done a little differently. Now, let's flip the page and build it up like it's a tree. Because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the rhythm tree. Just to keep ourselves on track here. So we have our rhythm tree. We're gonna start from the base. So our tree always has a base in its most simplistic form. If you can imagine a tree kind of growing and some bigger branches and those branches separate even more, that's kind of what we're doing here. You got the ground if you want to visualize that. Okay, so we have our whole note. It gets four counts each, okay? Then we it starts to build off these branches just like this, so we get a branch of two and two. Just like we talked about before, 
these are our half notes, okay? And those half notes, or those branches, separate even more so, okay? So that takes us to where we started, where we had our original pulses. So we got notes that look like this, okay? These are like our original pulses, and these get one beat at a time. One, two, three, four. These get one, two, three, four, and this gets one, two, three, four. So if you're listening to this and you don't understand music too well, or you're just learning this, um, I'm trying to emphasize the beginning of what we call the attack, okay? Now the attack, for instance, a whole note, the beginning of this is the attack. The attack of the note, okay? So I'm kind of sustaining that all the way to the end of the note. So the attack until the end or the release is four counts. And then again, break it down, half note, two counts. Attack is one count to two counts, then releases, okay? And then a quarter note, again, is just one beat. So one beat of attack, then release. Okay, now if you wanna break this down even more, Okay, so we got a little diagram with the tree. We're basically dividing it in two one more time. You get another kind of note. And that other kind of note looks just like the note we started with, except we have what's called a flag. Okay, this is called an eighth note. So let's recap. And in fact, let's learn this in reverse here. So, we originally started with a quarter note, it equals one beat. If we put two of those together, we have a half note, two beats. Two of those together, we have a whole note, which is four beats. Well, now let's go in reverse. Four divided in half is two, divided in half is one. Now this is called an eighth note, but it doesn't get eighth of a beat it gets one half of a beat. So let's go ahead and recap here. We have our whole note, half notes, quarter notes, and our eighth note. Make sure we spell that right. Okay, and again, if you wanna think of a dollar, this or a pie or a pizza, it doesn't really matter. Okay, this would be a whole note, four full counts. This would be a half note, two counts and two counts. Each one of these would be a quarter note, one, two, three, four. And then if you had a measure or a pie full of eighth notes, oops, you would have eight eighth notes in a measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And that is your basic rhythm tree. And again, one splits into two, which splits into two again, and then two again. And that's where that whole concept of a tree kind of comes out. If you have any questions, just comment below. Uh, sometimes people learn things in different ways. I'd be happy to help you out. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye.